I'm Adil Kumar sharing with you a test question on trigonometric equations. The question is solve 2 sine 2 theta plus 1 equal to 0 on the interval 0 to 2 pi. You can always pause the video, answer the question and look into my suggestions. The question here is 2 sine 2 theta plus 1 equal to 0. We are also given the domain and the domain is that theta is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equals to 2 pi. Okay. So rearranging we get 2 sine 2 theta equal to minus 1 sine 2 theta equals to minus 1 over 2. Right? Now if theta is within 0 to 2 pi what should be the domain for 2 theta? Let's multiply this by 2. So we get 2 theta will be multiplying everything by 2, 0 to 4 pi. Now this is very important to understand, right? Make a note of this. If theta is between 0 to 2 pi, 2 theta is between 0 to 4 pi. Now we're looking for sine 2 theta being equal to minus half. How do we get these values? So let's consider the coordinate plane. Negative sign means, if you know the cost rule, which you know, right? Sign is negative means we are looking for two solutions. One is in coordinate 3, the other one is in coordinate 4. We need to find the acute angle alpha, right? So basically, we need to find acute angle alpha. So let me just say this is my acute angle alpha. Correct? So one of the solutions will be pi plus alpha. The other one will be 2 pi minus alpha. These are my two solutions. So let's find this alpha. So let me write this as sine alpha. This will be always positive sine alpha equals to half, right? So that means alpha equals to sine inverse of, I mean, half minus. I mean, this is positive always. So sine inverse of half. You could always use your calculator or special triangles. For half, you could use special triangle, correct? It's a good idea. Many times, calculator is not allowed, right? So 1, 2, square root 3 is for the triangle where the sides are angles are pi by 3 and pi by 6, right? So sine being half means we're talking about pi by 6, right? So that gives us alpha equals to pi by 6. Correct? So we get alpha as pi by 6. Now remember that this angle 2 theta which is we are considering should be between 0 to 4 pi. So how many values do we get? So we'll add pi to our results. Do you see that? So one of them here is this angle which is now if I add let's see so that gives us let me use this side of the page now so alpha is pi by 6 so when we say sine 2 theta is minus half that means 2 theta should be equal to what right alpha means related to 2 theta right sine alpha is half 2 theta should be how much that is solving this one right now we're trying to solve this one so 2 theta is pi plus alpha, pi by 6. This is then 6 pi by 6, is it okay? And this is 12 pi by 6 for easy calculation, same denominator. One more than that gives us 7 pi by 6, is it okay? Now this side will be 1 less than 12, 11 pi by 6. Now that is up to 2 pi. Now we have to go one more round, right? We have to go... So this, this, and then this much. So that means we are adding 2 pi to our answer, right? 2 pi to our answer. So if I add 2 pi to our answer, that is being between 0 to 4 pi, correct? 2 pi means, oh, I'm sorry, uh, 2 pi means 12 pi by 6. 7 plus 12 is 19, right? So we get 19 pi by 6 and 
12 plus 11 is 23, 23 pi by 6. So we get actually four options. Now that is critical to understand. So highlight this portion. If you have double angle, then the domain also changes and accordingly we have to take or consider all the angles, right? So what is theta equals to? Dividing each by 2, we get 7 pi by 12, 11 pi by 12, 19 pi by 12, and 23 pi by 12. So these are the four answers for us. I hope that is well taken care of, right? I'm Anil Kumar. You can actually look into many of my videos by searching for Anil Kumar Trigonometric Equations Playlist. So angle for us, we got four solutions, 7 pi by 12, 11 pi by 12, 19 pi by 12, and 23 pi by 12. You can see all these angle theta are within 0 to 2 pi, correct? This is pi by 12. So all are within 0 to 2 pi, correct? So that is how you should be answering these questions. Feel free to share and subscribe to my videos and if you like, put some likes. Thank you and all the best.